Hey guys, it's me again, welcome back. And today I have a brand new pair of shoes from On, but these are a pair of shoes that I bought on my own. On did not provide them to me, unlike the Cloud Stratus. Uh, but again, I'll still be giving you my honest impression and an initial review of these. So let's get into this. So this is the On Cloud Away. These are On's, uh, I don't wanna say they're dip into the walking shoe realm, but these are everyday shoes. They have a couple other shoes that they will use for everyday wear and urban wear as they call it too. Uh, like the regular On Cloud, which I used to use as like my first pair of running shoes. Uh, you do have the Cloud Nova, which is like the stylish urban wear shoes. But now you have the Cloud Away, which comes in three colors for men, three colors for women. Absolutely love this color scheme here. This, I think they call it bronze and white. Uh, you can see that it is not built for running. Let me bring up the On Cloud Stratus. And there's a reason why I still have a burr in here. But you can see that this is like a typical pair of running shoes for the almost typical pair of running shoes anyways. But these take all, uh, a lot of lessons that On uses for its running shoes and applies it for comfort and uh, I'll say suitability, I guess, for the walking crowd and for like the everyday wear crowd. They also included, because of like how everybody's thinking more about the environment, they've got a sustainability thing going on with this too. So they're using some recycled materials in here. Now, you will see that it does take lessons from the Cloud Flyer and the new Cloud Stratus where it uses the star pattern here. There it is. But in addition to that, they take one of the best features that I love from the regular on cloud and use speed laces. And it's not just the elastic speed laces, but you can actually adjust these on here. So I love that. The upper is very lightweight. It does use recycled materials. There's not, it's not completely 100% recyclable, but I think the upper is 80% or maybe 20%. The outsole is 10% and then the midsole I think was 20%. It's really weird. They've got it all on their website. You have to like check it out. Uh, but for anybody who is interested, and this is normally the running crowd who cares about it, this does have an eight millimeter drop. Uh, this comes in at just under 10 ounces for size US men's 10. But for everybody in general, the price for these things is uh, about 140 US dollars. These are very comfortable. I've been wearing them around at work. You can see, and I've been wearing them around here at the campsite. You can see the woods behind me. Uh, but they don't catch the burrs like regular on cloud shoes do or on shoes like the Cloud Stratus here. Real easy to take out though, so there you go. One of the cool geeky features that I love about this is if you look closely, it's not just patterns. This is an actual topographical map of, I think it's El Gadan uh, Valley where uh, on is supposed to be from. It's they're, they're a Swiss company, so it's gonna be in there. And I apologize if I mess up the pronunciation because I don't speak Swiss. I don't speak any European languages other than Europe, uh, other than English, I guess. Wow, other than Europe, that is a good one right there. But anyways, I absolutely love these. I've worn them for several weeks now and it really does show. Uh, you can see that I am getting dirt in here all over. I have not had a chance to clean these like I do with my on Cloud Nova, but they are holding up really well, the, the grip that is actually the topographical map. If you have any questions, go ahead, let me know down below. If you like what you see, comment, like, subscribe, share. If you have any ideas that you wanna see me for other shoe reviews, go for it. But I absolutely love these and I suggest everybody check them out because I think this is sneaking under the radar for everybody. All right, till next time, bye guys.